get him in the Zug form. But he can't actually move any of these pieces. And if this moves, I have mate here. <laughs> this is a little sadistic, I will say. And then, okay, there are some stalemating ideas. Actually, there's not. Because his only move is going to be F3. That's the only move he has left. And then this is mate. Beautiful. And if you really want to have fun, you really, really are sadistic, you go G3 first, do this, and now you made him. That's how you, you add a little spice to your food, you know, sprinkle some chili flakes. What's up, guys? In this video, I have a bunch of Stonewall games, all beauties. Um, so definitely check them out. They're super entertaining, and they'll give you a lot of good ideas. But before you get to that, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos. Okay, so you don't have to go C3 until you move the bishop. Okay, so H3, forcing him to take. Now I don't even have to waste the move. That's always nice. Alright, so I, I learned recently the way to attack here is you go G4. Because the knight doesn't really have any squares to go to. So you kind of start the attack and then you see what happens. So here, maybe there's f6. f5 is possible too. Then he pushes. Okay. Alright, let me try f5. Okay, I'm gonna go g5. This is what I've always done, so I'm gonna try not to keep do something new. And maybe h4. Okay, so here I think I have to take. Though e6 is really weak, because the knight can't really support it anytime soon. Alright, I'm going to go rook e1. Because take, he has pressure and my king is open. So this almost justifies me opening up my king. Like, this guy is pretty safe and I have a target. Now c4 and start putting pressure. I think makes sense. Also b7 is hanging if he ever takes. And I can follow up knight c3. Now he can go knight c6. And I'm going to go bishop e3. And uh, basically we just have a lot of space. There is knight b4. Okay, but I have to defend this. Yeah, knight b4 maybe. Oh, I can't go bishop f1 because knight c2. <laughs> Probably a true statement. Okay, I really want to get knight c3 in. If I get knight c3 in, then I think I'm good to go. Got pressure here, pressure here. Okay, so this, I think he wants to take and then take here. Okay, I mean this is great because now this is this is strong and I have two bishops. Though this guy kind of is not the most ideal bishop of all time. Okay, so this, I mean, he's letting me get my pieces in. Bishop f2. Now I threaten to take here and things might be falling apart for him. Okay, I think I can actually just take here. Because we have this. So if he takes here, I can take here. And everything falls apart. If he takes, yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty much game over. So take, I mean, I could take the queen and then check and take the knight. Honestly, I'm kind of spo spoiled for choice here. I'm just going to take. I am berserking, so. Oh, he could take here. But I think I go king h1 and everything falls. All right, so now it's the classic. He's completely losing, but he's trying to flag me. It happens to me all the time. But two bishops, open position, everything's falling apart. Uh, I can go here and start munching all these guys. <laughs> Welcome to my side of town. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Check. And, uh, I guess I'll come, no, I'll just keep taking. Alright, fine, I'll go here. So F4 is why I was like, I won't take this. And, uh, funny enough, there's not really a checkmate. Alright, so I'm going to just trade and simplify, try to get a nice endgame here. Bishop F2. 
Oh, I actually have this idea. Because if he takes, I can go check and take the rook. And I'm not up. Actually, I'm up enough pawns to just trade down. But once again, I'm in no rush because he can't move. He's paralyzed. Honestly, I, yeah, I could just take this and I have a 2-1-1 one, one over here, which should be enough to, to win this endgame. So this. Now I threaten to take this. Uh, I'll go king here first. There's no rush. So here. I'm going to outpost here after h4. And then he should be stuck. But he is making progress in the fight to flag. Luckily I played a lot of bullet recently. So I should have some prowess in not flagging. Ideally. So here, h3 and take. So now I'm going to try to go h3, trade off, and then should be a pretty easy endgame to win. Check. So here first, so he can't push. And then boom, boom, boom. And time to clean. Okay, take here. Alright, that should be the end. So I'm going to say not the smoothest conversion. But we'll take it. Yeah, if you're playing for chess for money, I mean every once in a while you can play your section and try to win. But I think you should play like your section and try to win one out of four tournaments and everything else play play up a section, play up a section. Like when draws feel like wins, that's when you're doing something right. Like that's not when you're doing something right. That's when you're in a win win situation. Um and the actually interesting point is Magnus Carlsen has not played up in like fifteen years. <laughs> That, was, that is why I think he finds it so annoying playing classical chess. It's like if you got to play down every single game, I'm sure it gets very, very annoying. And that is the Magnus Carlsen effect in a nutshell. Okay, I'm going to do this. Yeah, like if you're going to play like World Open, you can play up a section. It, I'm sorry, you can play your section. If you're going to play like all the big tournaments, I recommend playing your section. Okay, wait, I can do this. I have this maneuver. This, this, and then this. Because now if he takes it, I have F takes and he can't castle. Yeah, I think you can do it in the GC, the Georgia Chess Association. Yeah. The Georgia, Georgia State Chess Championship. That's another one I think where playing up is okay. Sorry, playing your section is okay. They have decent prizes. But yeah, definitely I, I agree. Like That is the best stat, strat if, for chess. <laughs> like my dad actually he made me play up too much I was like maybe like 1800 and I would play open section again and again and again and just get destroyed strats or stats um, the prizes are good but they're kind of sneaky yeah it's based on 1600 so it's based on 100 people which is really ambitious yeah, and it's only the top two. So if you, I mean, if I'm playing, I am looking to be in the top two. This guy's twenty three hundred. I hit. See, I don't like playing people down this much. This is this is a little too much. But okay, let's keep going. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I might play. I'm just I'm thinking about playing. It's also fide rated, which is nice. But I kind of need Ethan to play. Like now that Ethan's fide rating is high, I'm all for him. Like play whenever you can. Like. <laughs> I mean, I do have a good record against Ethan too, which is nice. Can I can I do this? I think so. Take take and then Queen C four with the pin, and then F five hangs at the end. Oh no way! That's sick. I didn't know Davis' video was that high too. Well, that's great. Yeah, the, the only annoying thing with Ethan and Davis is they really, really play solid and want to draw. Like, playing black against those guys, like, you really got to do something special to win. Um, whereas, like, 
the guys who like play like I mean here's another thing no one in Georgia plays like I would say like fun exciting chess everyone I mean I guess I would say I play pretty aggressive or I gotta play fast too but I mean it is what it is no Zapata sorry I take that back Zapata plays really fun aggressive chess like when you play Zapata you know you're getting a good game all right can I win this pawn I'm gonna take it because I can take and take something like this I think I'm gonna go queen takes and put this guy right here put this gal right here um yeah you gotta respect Zapata especially like with how old he is uh yeah I mean I think the shorter the time control the better your chances of being Davis because he will get kind of low on time pressure and he's one of those guys you kind of just like wait 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 and then once time gets low it's like well now you start really like pushing up the pace uh, Magnus does this really well too. He knows when to really start initiating contact. Um, all right, where is this one? So push and push would be game over. Depending on where he goes. Yeah, so I think I just do this. Okay, I, I at least win the rook. Yeah. <sighs> None of my my bullet skills were enough for this man. the problem all these games against them I think I just well I would say I got good positions in a, in a decent amount but I can't use this for content unless I win the next <laughs> you got the how come you was at oh you got seven this man he just like seven I always love playing new people okay so I want to go e4 because he went c4 it's a common idea Can I just go you for here? Yeah. So if I lose this pawn, I lose this pawn. I think I'll be okay. Can I do this? This looks very risky. But I'm with it. We can take... Actually, I can throw in this check, no? I don't even have to be down. Okay. I was gonna sack a piece and take, take, and take. Or take and take. And then go like night check and everything, but if I don't have to sack the piece, then it sounds like a better version of me. To king here, can I go rook here and take? I'm gonna probably just take the knight first before I try to add some spice to it. Some ideas of b5, but then rook b1. So bishop takes pawn check, king e7, take. I mean, I, I feel like I'm spoiled for choice. It's also rook b1. Yeah, this looks pretty simple. Alright, let me take here first so we can't take the piece, and then rook b1, and then take on d5. Okay, so there is mate back here, but I can go queen g3, because then I take the check. You know what, let's just keep it simple. So this guy is apparently a speed demon, so... I do need to be... Cuidado. Yeah, the, the, the time scrambles are really what's, what's hurting me. <laughs> this is the final position, the last one. Free queen. And then... This one hurt too. That's the last one. 
That is the last one. Okay, wait, I can go here and then this and then take. This end game should be like. I mean, I can go to jinx anything, but uh, this is uh. I mean, I think it's really good for me. Even Bishop H. So Bishop H6, I have this check. Totally on purpose. Bishop B7, I take an F7. Okay, I'm up two pawns, up 40 seconds. This one would be the one that really uh, broke broke everything left in me. <laughs> I think I could take this. And now rook check. And I win the bishop. I think that's it, guys. I got my win. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going Stonewall. I will get 2600 with Stonewall. For sure. Okay, so remember, try to push e4. I'm gonna go knight d2 first. Okay, so he said no e4. So now what he's gonna do is probably plop a knight here. Maybe not immediately, but soon. Alright, so now we can't plop. Now I'm gonna go for the standard rook lift. Okay, so he wants to go knight f5. Um, I'm gonna go b3. Basically, this is gonna take a million years and a lot of construction, <laughs> so I'm not in a rush to do it. I'm gonna try to get these guys over. So you can go f6. I'll just move back. You know, just poking and prodding. C4, I think, is, is good. Opening this up, at some point, to pay off. Okay, so it would be cool if I can get knight h6 mate with this. That would be the prophecy that I'm trying to prophesize. Now, if he takes this knight, that's never going to happen. But let's see if we can get the prophecy. Okay, prophecy's still alive. If I can get this in, okay, prophecy might be over. Now, this is, I think, a good, I think this is a good position, but it's gonna be really hard to get the prophecy. Now, can I go knight h6 check? It looks brazen. King g7, and then I want to go d5 and line this guy up. But he takes, and after f5 he goes g5. I don't think it's enough. All right, let's do it. We'll go. We'll try to die a hero. So king h7, I have rook h5. I mean, I can go f5 immediately, but I really want to line this up. This is what I was really trying to go for here. Now, if he takes f5 check g5, I can take this, and though I'm down a piece, I have this beautiful chain and these beautiful bishops. I mean, look at this. This is like plowing the fields. Okay, so now I'm going to go f5. Open this stuff up. He can take on c4. Okay, let's just go ahead and let's have some fun. So g5, I can just take it because I have this pin. So take on c4 would kind of be the best counter strike for him. And I think I'm going to take this way. Looks kind of crazy though. Oh, you know what's even nicer? Knight g4. Alright, let's try it. Because take I'm threatening Queen H6 check in a multitude of ways. So if he takes, I still have it. Okay, so he goes here to defend everything. Can I take on H5? Because there's Queen G5. I think there's no mate. So I'm gonna take here first. Because I have this. So he can't well I mean he can take, but and maybe I was trying too much to be a hero, but 
I guess that's why we do it. <laughs> okay, stay here. So the check I just slide. And now he's gotta deal with his king. He's doing a good job of dealing with the king. I'm doing a good job of sacrificing every single one of my pieces. Okay, so now I take this way. I mean, a beautiful game if I win this for sure. All right, I'm gonna take this way. So I can take here, now I threaten check. I mean, maybe check first is more accurate. Okay, so we threw this in. I don't know if it helps or not. I mean, I don't actually, I don't know who is it easier to play for, him or me. Because all he has to do is defend. I, I know people who would love defending this, and I know people who would love attacking. I want to do this. I'm playing like a real psychopath this game. Check. Okay, let's do it. Let's go full, full die hard. Okay, so I'm only down a piece, I think. Oh, I'm down. I'm only down a piece for all this, and I I really got the big, the big reward, which is his time situation. You know, okay, I'm gonna give this check actually. Okay, now I take here with check. This now this should be over. He should have come this way, because ironically, all his pieces kind of help. Is that mate? Wow, that's a beautiful game. That's a straight. We have the hopeful music in the background too. They're like, we can do this. We just gotta work together. Okay, I'm gonna go B3, Bishop B2. Just develop. Uh, whenever you go B3, Bishop B2, watch out for the F4 pawn. Yeah, like what he's doing here. And a uh, very common way to defend it is go 94. That looks really wrong for him because now E6 becomes a big problem. So if he takes, I can actually take here first. I can also not take there first, but. I think we're just gonna take this pawn. So he wants this. But I think I can go queen e1. And now he's got some some problems in his position. I could also take this and go to the end game. But this, he has to go here. And now becomes the interesting part. So bishop c4? I mean, I'll probably just back it up here things open so I'm hitting the bishop I'm not quite threatening the knight yet actually bishop check pawn push otherwise I'd win the knight okay so he did kind of make it away he made it out alive all right let me go bishop c4 this is just a good square for this and um, now I threaten to take the bishop again okay so he was wise to this but I did push him back and that's always a good thing playing chess push your opponent back and uh, now I'm just developing. Maybe queen h4 next move. So he's going to go h6 and force my uh, my knight to h3, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I'm going to throw this in first, because then he can't go queen f7. If I had moved here and then gone rookie 1, he would have the f7 square. Now here, this is so close to, like, he's in trouble. Okay, so maybe here. So he has to go here. Uh, sorry, queen h5. Wait, bishop e2? Is the queen? Ch he can come back home. That's the thing. I mean, this this girl got wait. She got chased around town, for sure. But uh, I know I like it. So he has to come back. Now, okay. Now, question becomes: Where do I put this bishop? Uh you know what I can do? I go bishop d3 and I take this. Oh, but the problem is this knight's hanging. Okay, so he kind of just gave up. <laughs> so when when you're chased around all day sometimes you're just like i'm done okay and speaking of i'm done now the rook is trapped this has been a unfortunate turn of events for my man is he the one all right here we go all right 47 we're getting there I mean, 
hopefully next stream I can say breaking 2800. But that feels like I'm getting ahead of myself. So B3, we're gonna play it slow because you have no light score bishop to, to sacrifice on. A6, A4. this now the bishop does have some value over here but let's see i'm gonna double the rooks on the f5 it seems like a very solid plan probably he's gonna go f6 or f5 and i have to take i'm gonna go e4 here c4 Okay, I think it's okay. Actually, is this possible? It seems kind of silly. And it is queen. So, we're just gonna go here. Now, if take, I do have to ask myself, do I go pawn takes or knight takes? I'm gonna go knight takes. This should start opening up some lines. So I gotta watch out for some pins. That is correct. Where are we rook at? I wanna go rook at four. So this does seem kind of funky because I'm going here, but the idea is now I can double up faster because the queen can come to the third rank. Where if I go rook f3, I can do this, but can't really double up. All right, so I think he wants b5. I can go a4, just give it a move. Because this take and a7 is technically going. Ah, so he's going for this, huh? So yeah, I mean, I can take, but then I have the simp bishop. That's the problem. Uh, should I do this? Once again, I'm more, okay. All right, let's go for this. Because if he tries to win material, I have bishop a3 to win. I don't, I have rook here and then bishop a3. Okay, so first we're gonna take here. Okay, so yeah, he's trying to give me the simp bishop. It's definitely the simp bishop. Now I can go bishop a3 and cement this guy in, or... Oh, let's go look here. Let's go here. It's almost forcing an h5. And then g4 seems like too much. The rook sack, I can do in maybe a move. I want to go rook f1 first. Then really start looking to sacrifice. Now these guys are holding down this side too, which is very nice. Okay, but be very careful. This is where they're gonna try to infiltrate and uh, you have to be very, very on guard. Okay. Now something that could happen is you could sack the queen. Can I go d7? And the idea is then I can go bishop a3 with tempo to hit this rook. Get it gaining time. Time is the essence in these kind of positions. Maybe I go here and here's an idea. Okay, so we sack in it. I mean, I'm cool with that. 92 check is not really a threat. Queen f3. Now I have this idea of queen takes f7 check and push, or just push and queen takes f7 check. Okay, so I can just take this knight, and that should be pretty much GG for him. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, your boy's on fire right now. As long as I win this, I will be above 2450, and that. I mean, dude, I mean, he like redefined the Smith Mora. <laughs> I have a story.
Um, I don't know his story, but basically he was playing with my friends, and uh, my friend, my friend, like played what he played Sicilian, and he knew Mark played the Smith Mora, so he de he declined it. And after the game, he was like, "Did you know I was gonna decline it?" And he was like, "Yeah, I knew you were gonna decline it because you got pussy written all over you." <laughs> so that is uh, the amount of attacking that uh, Mark is. I think he has like a really really good game against Van Welly. It's in one of his books. I would recommend that. That game was like insanely sick. <laughs> what was it, take back? I guess he meant to take. Now there is night takes, but I'm gonna just take this way. Lord, I guess I wonder if I could be a street hustler too. Sorry, brother. I need this win. This is my last game of the day. So, I'll take any free pawns that I can get, my friend. Take an Indian go. I did get my heart broken. <laughs> wait, I. Wait, wait, wait. He's. A, oh, okay, okay. That's what he's saying. He's the like only hustler to beat Anand. He beat him in a tournament? No way. For real? Like in an actual rated game or like in Blitz? Blitz, okay, I don't know. But if you played him in. Wow, that's still so sick. To draw Anand in the classical chess, god mode. Well, hopefully I can get that. And th that was probably like years ago too. So that was like, like I said, god mode Anand. All right, bro, you want to you want to do this? Oh shoot. Okay, no, I rook it too. All right, I'm, I'm gonna grind this end game. I can grind. Okay, he's letting me do everything I want. There's like rook b1, which is like kind of annoying. But now the king is gonna march up, be like, what's up, boys? All right, just keep going, don't worry. Don't worry about this pawn. All right, we made it. All right. Let the show go on. All right, h3, g4, gonna crack this. I'm, I feel like he must have GM norms with the way he plays. I don't know if you can confirm, but uh, does he? Does he have GM norms? Actually, I think I have a good record against him. Where I don't think I ever lost to him, but I don't think I ever beat him either in like actual chess. So that's also another cool Esmond fact that I have for you. Um, I think the both the draws I was better to somehow. And then um, there's another funny story. Oh, he, he, we were playing this tournament, and last round I'm playing. Um, yeah, I mean it's tough. It's really tough. Twenty five hundred feet. I guess it's real serious. But yeah, we were playing this tournament, and he was like, "Yo, I'm I'm playing Hungaski the last round." He's like, "Yo, can you draw? Because if you draw, I get second place. And I think if I win, I like I get I get money or something." And then uh, I ended up beating Hungaski, and he was like, "Man." I wanted you to draw. <laughs> so, I mean, and that one, it was an end game. I absolutely stole his, took his soul away. And Goski, I think he was kind of upset after the game, too. It's not every day you get to make a GM upset, though. So, you take him when you can. All right, now, speaking of a set, let's not do anything upsetting in the remaining seconds of this game as I try to clinch the. Uh, the end of this. Now, my goal is right now is to not lose. So I'm gonna go d5. <laughs> it's like, please don't get made in here. That's what I'm looking at right now. All right, boom. Push, push. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. So he can go rook b2. Okay, so this is the, the mates I'm talking about, by the way. Boom, and actually I can take, and then I can start wiggling with the king. And the good thing with king here is it's almost mate, but I can block with the rook. Otherwise it is mate. There we go. All right, I'm not trying to jinx it, because uh, that would be really sad. Rook b2, that's his big threat. So I'm gonna go rook c3. 
That way I can meet it at the end with rook d2. All right, so we're gonna take this guy and uh, I'm gonna check here. Bro, can you get your king out of here, bro? All right, I just have to check. All right, now I should be a Gucci main. All right, 30 seconds. It's the final countdown. It'd be cool if I got a mate too. All right, we made it. All right, so I should have enough of Stonewall versus Kings Indian after after today. Okay, so H3, forcing him to take. Watch out for the Queen H4 check. All right, castle. C4. Okay, I'll take this. Now I'm gonna provoke G6 just to make it a bit more interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Speaking of interesting. All right, so you can't take here because I have this and this. Okay, we'll take it. Probably goes D3. So at least he has a protected pass pawn. Here. My queen here is very strong. I'm literally there for life. I can't castle. Actually, it's funny if I go here, he can castle. <laughs> Alright, so now my knight is going to occupy Wall Street over here. And if he goes here, I can take this pawn. So this knight should be here for the rest of his his days as a knight. Okay, oh, he has this, these two pass pawns. It's very dangerous. So I don't want to go king h2 because he can take with check. Yeah, so how do I defend this is actually a good question. I'm gonna have to clench the cheeks a little bit. So queen here, I threaten this, but I'm also really trying to go queen e2. So what's the count? Three, five, three, six, seven. So we've got two pawns for a rook. So if I can trade my rook for three pawns, then uh, I would be good to go. No way. So take and then e2 is unstoppable, huh? We do this. Oh, I guess I have to take here. Wow, this guy. All right, so I'm gonna do this, and the good news is I should have connected past ones as my own. So take, rook takes, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna come corral this. And if I can keep these two, I'm good. If I lose one of them, then it's probably a draw. Okay, so I'm letting him take this. Because my idea is my connected two should be uh, more efficient. Oh yeah, he's gonna have four on two, so it's far from simple at this point. You could trade the rook. So rook check, I probably actually go king here. If I take, then I can't win. I mean, it, I can win, but it's probably a draw. So I want to find a way to keep rooks on the board. Okay, so now they're in rook check, getting this guy. Um, so b3, too much force. Alright, so I mean, I'm going to definitely take the pawn. So he wants e3. So yeah, what is the right way to do this? Okay, so h4. Okay, we're throwing checks. I'm not quite sure. But he can't make progress here. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking just go rook c2. Put a rook behind and just start marching. Okay, so here. Put him behind and then just march. Okay, so this doesn't change anything. I'm gonna go a3 then march. can't go here because push, take, and push. So I can push again. So king here, and then I have rook here. So I'm just enough distance to make him kind of bounce back and forth between these. So king here, push, king here, I can actually push again, I think. The pawns are too much. Do you have like a draw or something? Because this will win if there's no draw. So everyone's pushing. Alright, now I'm good. Okay, we're just gonna queen. Yeah, this should be enough. Alright, this, this is not, it should be enough. This is enough. So it's always kind of fortunate when the guy has the epic comeback. And then he still is. <laughs> but we'll take it. Okay, so I don't need to go C3, so I'm gonna keep this option. I guess I never do that, so. Alright, if he wants it, he can get it. So I take, no, I'll just come back. So I'm just trying to wait for something to happen. Okay, so he wants this diagonal. I'll go here. Still not really worried about anything. Probably H3 at some point too. Now this looks kind of fun. So I have this idea of knight takes pawn in D5 at the right time. Hitting this diagonal. Alright, where's the breakthrough? Alright, I don't see anything there, so I'm not gonna come here. Maybe the other knight was better. That way I can keep the flying knight act going. Alright, so now I, I do get a weird structure, but this might actually help him. That's the messed up part. Oh, but this point is hanging. So I have d5 here, actually. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna couple, but this, he goes take, so I have to go here first. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about g4, but d4 was always hanging, what's the problem? Like here, I, I think, yeah, the problem was d4. I mean, even here, this is technically a problem. But yeah, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm, I want it. <laughs> That's the best way to say it, I definitely want it. Now, 94 also is an idea to come in. Yeah, the problem is there's a lot of loose things. This is the one thing when you push f4, sometimes you wish it was back on f2. Okay, I can take this. Actually, can I do this first? Or oh, I can take this pawn. But then uh, everyone's going. Alright, so I'm going to take here first. Force this. Now if I take here, he's going to go rook takes. So I'm going to take here next. Problem is... There's like some meat back here. Take, the bishop isn't hanging. Alright, so we'll go knight of three first. Just to cover all this stuff. Again, this beat is sick. Maybe I could take. Alright, so he didn't notice that this pawn was hanging the whole time. I think, I think. Now uh, these guys tend to sometimes be evil geniuses, so you never know. All right, I think we're gonna take the queens off and get a pawn up endgame, I believe. But this is like <laughs> battle of the uglies right now. 
But okay, I have, pawn is a pawn. That's all I can say. I gave him this check. Oh, no, but he can't do it because I have rook c1 at the end. So take, take. Sorry, my arrows are so bad. Take, take, check. King g2, take, and then rook c1. And fortunately, I am not going to lose my extra pawn. This guy, this is like you have, I have four kids right now, four children. This is the most promising. He is the one who can become the future generation. Now, okay. I need to get the king out of all these checks. Okay, so he wants to, okay, knight of three. I really want to um, move this bishop. Okay, so we're gonna go here, try to induce something so I can go knight d4 check. He didn't bite, unfortunately. Okay, so here I'm gonna hit this. Start poking, asking questions. Mr. Siddler. So he's probably gonna try to trade off something. All right, well, we'll send the other one. and see, uh, so now I turn to take with check. Okay, I guess that didn't do anything. All right, so we did make it all the way to Timbuktu. Okay, I get another pawn. Okay, I got him cut off. Here, knight of seven. Actually, I'm gonna not lose this pawn. Alright, got him. We got him. This is also hanging too. Is he gonna try to go? He is. Of course. Okay, this is not, there's no stalemate here. King of seven. So I can pre move this. King of seven, he has king e6. I think that should be it. Man, why? Fred forever. Why are you like this? Japanese people are supposed to be polite and respectful. Alright. I can, I can hit him with a rematch. He found Queen C5. Sneaky guy. I mean, he was de definitely losing that endgame. My pawns are faster. But he can't get low on time. That's rule number one. So I'm really gonna start pushing the pace these games because I've learned like you want to gain rating, you want to win, be on top of the scrambles. 95 first maybe. Can I do this? Or no. 97 probably first. Wow. Brave new world. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I want this and this now. B3. No, actually, knight takes is possible too. With the way things are. I mean, king e7 was definitely just unnecessary. But. It's fine with me. So maybe he's gonna go knight e4. Then I'm gonna go bishop b2, knight d2, get rid of this, and then. Okay, so he, now he started in this. So queen e2. Okay, time advantage, 20 seconds. 94, bishop b2. All right, bishop b2 first. Actually, I'm gonna go knight d2 first. Because he can only attack this if he moves this. If he moves this, sorry, if he moves this. And this, where ha this doesn't really have any useful, anywhere useful to go. And now I wanna go f5. Because he can't go here. If I take, I'm opening up in a good way, I believe. Okay, so now this knight may... No, no, no. This is defending this. Alright, take. Right here. He's taking a lot of pieces off, but I think that's okay, because 
His king is weakened. As long as I have this dark square bishop, should have some ideas of opening him up. Queen h4. Yeah, queen h4 is fine. So I'm going. So he's gonna go like queen e7, and then he's gonna have a line of fire here. So I have to be careful. Okay, so here. No, I'm gonna go bishop e3. So he wants knight f5. Okay, knight f5 is a move. I'll go bishop d2. No, I think I'm gonna do this. So the reason I was hesitant is because um, he can take here and have to go king takes, but that being said, my pieces are free. Like knight f5 is actually made on d8. So now it becomes a good question. Actually, there might be knight takes g7, bishop h6 check, and queen f6. Knight f5 would be the only way to defend it. All right, so I actually got made. All right, 2700, perfect. This win could get me 2690. That's how you play the Stumble Dutch, my friend. There's actually uh, there's a chapter in Structures by, uh, man, who is this GM? Mauricio Flores? I hope it's Mauricio Flores. But he has a chapter on Stonewall Dutch, and he, he says one of the big plans for uh, breaking through the Stonewall Dutch is use the A file and break through there. So that is definitely something to always keep in mind. Okay, so, so far, so good. Bishop g4, so h3, he can actually pull back. There's no there's no uh, g4, f5. So I'm gonna go queen e1 to go knight e5. Okay, so he takes that away. c5 is probably coming, c3. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go knight d2. Yeah, so here actually, it looks kind of weird. Ugh. So if I go knight d2, he's gonna go knight f6. So I'm gonna take, so I always have this pawn to attack. Now here, I have to make sure, hopefully this rook doesn't get stuck out here. As we've seen time and time again, that can become a problem in these positions. Okay, so we'll go knight d2, and now another piece I gotta worry about is bishop on c1. Gotta make sure that guy doesn't get stuck. Uh, so this pawn, but this pawn is fine because I get this pawn and I get all my pieces out. So actually, this position I think is pretty great for uh, for white. Okay, my spidey senses are tingling. Can I go c4? So c4, take on c1, take on d6, take on b2, and uh, take on e6 seems like a lot. Okay, I'll just go here, and uh, I'm trying to argue that I have the better structure here. This 4 on 2, and the open f and e files are going to favor me, but the open c and d files, I don't think he can do that much on. Okay, so queen g3, hitting g7, probably has the castle, and then rook f1, queen e5, rook g3, and I'm starting to cause him some issues. H4, H5, also another idea. Knight F6 check, also an idea. So which foot, what is the best way to do this? I'm gonna start with H4. And I'm kind of just like, this is a, he's almost in punching bag mode, where there's nothing I have to worry about in this position. Whereas him, he knows there's a storm coming. You know, C4, yeah, I actually thought he might have to do this, but to my favor, for sure. So probably B6. And then knight d3, and I'm going to play against this e6 pawn now. Put a queen on e5. Okay, he wants to go knight e4. Let me start with this. And I have a sneaky threat. Knight e4, I can go rook takes f5. Okay, so queen e2. Once again, I still have rook takes f5, and um, e6 is weak. Okay, wait, I can take this for check. And then rook h3. Okay, so that was a blunder. I didn't do that on purpose, but I can make the most of it with using the H file to counterattack. So 95 also, but I don't want to trade. I mean, knight f4. How does rook f6? Maybe it's forced. All right, I'm, I think I'm gonna play like a man. 95 would just trade everything. You know, actually, the theme of the day has been don't take risks. So I'm gonna go 95. So take, queen takes, I can play against this and I have this fast pawn. This four on two, I think is better than his three on one, I would say. Now oh, what's the best way to do this? 
me a thing. Alright, this is fine. Okay, rook f2. I'm gonna go rook d3 and start pushing. Maybe I should have played a little bit more like a man. <laughs> but alright, c4, b4, and uh, the race is on. I actually probably would take a draw here, he offered. Repetition. Just, I mean, because I'm lower on time. Yeah, I want to go b4 and c5 next. Oh, was this pawn hanging? Oh, okay, maybe it's actually bad. Let's take it. Alright, forget this guy, we're going to go and get the connected passers. So rook b2, I'm going to go c6 and just keep pushing. So he can have all the extra pawns on the corner. Alright, c6. I'm just going to keep pushing these. This is my ticket to the big show. So I would think that I should win a rook here with these guys. Let's set something crazy happening. I mean, isn't this just winning? He's gotta go here and then c7. Alright, that was a... I would say a little anticlimactic to what should have been a more photo finish. Alright, I'll take the two queens. <laughs> Man, I would think... Okay, I was about to say, I would think these guys would resign in these positions. Alright, I just hung the piece. Yeah, it puts the, the rating damper on there. Okay, so against Grunfeld, I like putting the bishop on a3. If he's gonna do this, I'm gonna take. Um, I mean, I can win this pawn. I guess I'll do it. Win the pawn and hold the fort, clench the cheeks as uh, Okay, so maybe knight here. Yeah, the the, I, a big part of winning the pawn is uh, I can put this knight here, and that's going to defend a lot of things. Maybe bishop here. I want to defend this pawn. Okay, now I got to remove this knight. I could have taken an f five. Okay, wait. Yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> so take I'm gonna take this way so I don't lose this pawn. I think he sacked a piece. Okay, he's gonna get some pawns for it maybe, but Queenie one. Okay, so Queen G3 check first. So I don't lose this pawn. So one thing you gotta be careful with is don't give away too many pawns when you're winning. Cause uh, then your opponent actually has good coming back chances. Okay, so I'm gonna go rook e1, kinda risky. So I'm inviting rook g8 cause I have knight g5 and this third of mate here. Okay, and I, I, I preach about not giving pawns and then I, I give some pawns. Okay. Okay, there's a cool mate. So rook g8, queen f6. So I can't do this yet, because he has f6, but then I have queen h6. Okay. So f6, queen h6, and then rook g8, knight f7 is mate. And uh, puts him in a precarious spot. Now my threat is actually, so queen check, and then some combination of rook e3. Or maybe just rook f3 first. Actually, I can do this now. Because before he had rook takes g2. But now... Ah, oh, okay, so he has... Wow, so rook c3, I can go knight g4. Because this is mate. 
and this is under attack. Pretty nice finish. Okay, and he's gonna play it out. Trying to be a hero. Okay, so here I'm gonna hit him on the back rank. And that should be pretty much all she wrote. Comes fine. All right, I'll go here. Now it's not quite mate because he's queen can guard. Okay, so now if King Chia, I can force the queens off. We should make cleaning up the mess very easy. So what does he have? Two pawns for a rook. Yes, yeah, so the hard fact about being the king is you can run out of moves when it's like king and pawns versus rook or something. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna just kind of force him to push everything and then I'm gonna pick everything up from the back. That's the idea. So here, if I go rook here, he can defend. So this should be the beginning of Rome collapsing. <laughs> 